Medical ma marijuana before prohibition. Cannabis was listed as one of the 50 fundamental herbs of traditional Chinese medicine. This plant was first introduced to Western medicine in the mid 1800s by Dr. Williams, O. Shangazati, after observing it use in India. By the 20th century, over 100 pages about cannabis were published in Western medical journals and cannabis preparations were available at most local pharmacies. Fluid extract, Cannabis America, an active as Indian cannabis. Worried about cow farts? In the early 1800s, there were roughly 60 million buffalo residing in America. There are currently 9.4 million dairy and 31.7 million beef cows in America. You either have to prove cow farts are more destructive to the environment than buffalo farts, or admit that cow farts really aren't something we should be worried about. Burko's last hurrah. Flights to US from Mr. Burko and his aide, £6,800. That's £3,400 each, so I'm guessing they went first class, of course. Sky subscription for £118 per month, Speaker's House. Dinner with quadrilateral of UK presiding officers, £1,406 for dinner. Just think about that. Return taxi trip from Westminster to Nottingham for speech, £1,003. Retirement party for Speaker's Chaplain, £3,168. A total of £12,495. So this overpaid wanker can live up the life of Riley having a party at our expense. Yet again, like all of them. The Ego's Secret Teachings. Of all the things our ego mind attempts to keep hidden from our awareness, three items are at the top of the list. One, there is no death. Two, there is no separation. Three, there is only love. The ego has constructed a seemingly impenetrable barrier behind which these truths are hidden. When we retain our minds to accept the truth of these statements, we will realise that all of our past suffering was a mistake and that we can choose never to suffer again. For the ego to stay alive, it must work steadfastly and intently to encourage us to believe that our reality is limited to our physical senses, essentially to what our physical eyes and ears tell us about the world. It would have us believe that there is death, separation, guilt, fear and hate, and that love is not our reality. The ego mind is fully aware that as soon as we believe with total conviction that there is no death, there is no separation and there is only love, it will be dissolved. Here's a picture of someone that's been over in foreign countries killing innocent men, women and children because they've got different coloured skins. Oh, and he's also not Prince Charlie's, of course. Greta Thunberg, parents, not only use her to push the UN Agenda 2030 anti-human plan under the guise of climate change, her dad uses her Facebook account pretending to be her. Facebook glitch reveals Greta Thornburg's father posing as teenage climate activist. All working for our detriment. The further a society drifts from the truth, the more it will hate those that speak it. George Orwell. Go near my missus like you did my mum and I'm having a nonce for a son will be the last of your worries, you old slag. Mummy, what is political correctness? Dear, that's giving up your own opinion to please assholes. Hemp has been used to make all these wonderful hard hand washing wearing suitable products before some twit in a suit realised they could make much more money exploiting alternative interest intensive goods made from cotton oil and wood i hope sanity will soon be reinstalled marks mark police government corruption 
One or, or more of the nearly 40 West Midland police officers attempted to steal goods from a house they were searching. This is 100% attempted theft as money goes in a separate bag within a bag. The officers, officer, officers responsible put money, gold, silver and collectible coins in a bag. The bag was the, the word police printed on it. They rolled it up tight and hid it in a pillowcase. A few weeks later, as the occupants were changing their spare bed, they found this bag inside the pillowcase and recorded themselves opening it. The, occupant, the occupants notified the police about this and the police requested that they hand the bag in and allow, uh, along with this, its contents, its obviously bag would have gone missing. What a shock, eh? Police are corrupt. And while we're on about that, let's just... Stop saying policeman or policewoman. Just use their gender. Pigs. The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Clear as mud. Are you confused by what is going on in the Middle East? Let me explain. We support the Iraqi government in the fight against Islamic State. We don't like IS, but IS is supported by Saudi Arabia, who we do like. We don't like President Assad in Syria. We support the fight against him, but not IS, which is also fighting against him. We don't like Iran, but Iran supports the Iraqi government against IS. So some of our friends support our enemies and some of our enemies are our friends. And some of our enemies are fighting against our other enemies, whom we want to lose. But we don't want our enemies who are fighting our enemies to win. If the people we want to defeat are defeated, they might be replaced by people we like even less. And all this was started by us invading a country to drive out terrorists who weren't actually there until we went in to drive them out. Do you understand now? This is Pepsi upside down, is dead, in case you're having trouble understanding that, is dead. Drink this and you is dead. NHS hospital patients to be temporarily housed in porter cabins due to overcrowding. Temporary wards would provide 60 extra beds to relieve pressure on overcrowded wards. NHS patients could be temporarily, I mean, whenever they start with anything being temporary, it always ends up being permanent, housed in port cabins as wards battle severe overcrowding. NHS boss, bosses at Whiston Hospital have applied for permission to install a two-storey port cabin in the hotel's car park that will provide 60 extra beds and relieve pressure on wards currently operating above capacity and offering inappropriate levels of care. In its planning application, St Helens and Knowlesley Teaching Hospital, NHS Trust, said the Trust A&E department is the busiest in Merseyside and activity, activity is growing faster than other neighbours' trust. In addition, bed occupancy within the Trust is vi vi virtually 100%. The pressure to accommodate non-elective admissions is relentless and leads to poorly patient being in inappropriately cared for on trolleys in hospital corridors and ties up ambulance crews that are unable to offer offload their patients. Tories to cut £70 a week from 11,000 state pensioners. Statistics show older people constitute the majority of Conservative voters. I bet they never knew the Tories would stab them in the back so soon. It it's even worse because the allowance for adult dependents is being phased out in any case. The Tories are simply cutting it early than it would have ended. It turns out 11,000 pensioners are still receiving the allowance. From April, these people will lose £3,500 per year. The DWP is claiming that current recipients of allow the allowance will be able to claim a means-tested benefit like universal credit or pension credit. Good luck with that one, folks. The simple fact is that Tories love to take state money away from people who depend on it. And let's not make the mistake here of calling it state money. We'll call it our money. Because that's all they're doing, taking our money that we've paid into the system back. 
from us. It's called theft. Two thirds of disputed Cali child refugees are adults, home office figures reveal. It comes as government dependent rules out unethical dental checks to verify age of refugees. More than two thirds of refugees arriving in the UK who had their age assessed were in fact over 18, home office figures reveal. Data from the year ending in June reveals that over of 933 refugees whose ages were disputed, 68% of them were deemed to be adults. It comes as home of the Home Office rules out dental checks to verify the ages of young refugees from Calais after a call from Conservative MP David Davis to implement such tests. The Home Office statistics revealed that between January 2006 and June 2016, 45% of 11,847 applicants were ages were checked were not children. Jessica Bile comes out as anti-vax activist, joins Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to lobby against CA vaccination bill. On Tuesday, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., an environmental activist whose recent work has focused increasingly on baseless allegations that vaccines are unsafe and can injure a statistically minuscule population of medically fr fragile children, appeared at a California State Assembly beside an unlikely seen partner, actress Jesse Jessica Beale. In a series of Instagram posts, first reported in Jezbel by Anna Merlin, the two posed with activist legislators and miscellaneous bureaucrats architecture in the caption Kennedy called Beale courageous. The duo had come to lobby against SB 276, a California state bill that would limit the medical exemptions from vaccinations without approval from a state public health officer. The bill has been decried by anti-vax advocates like Kennedy and vaguely cr uh, critique by Gov. Gavin Newsom over office estimations that it would reduce medical exemptions by nearly 40%. Gardasil vaccine victim. I just believe everything doctors told me. First thing you learn when you suddenly find out what's really going on is trust no one in a supposed authority. As we have reported stories of hundreds of HPV vaccine injuries and deaths over the past few years, one statement we heard over and over again from all the victims is, I just trusted my doctor. Since the US government and the pharmaceutical companies unanimously state that H the HPV vaccine is safe and effective, most don't bother to research the vaccine themselves and doctors seldom. It even took about potentially side effects when they are discussed. They are pre presented as very rare. Seized ship in 1.3 billion cocaine bust is owned by JP Morgan Chase, a cargo ship that was seized last month with nearly 20 tonnes of cocaine on board with an estimated street value of $1.3 billion belongs to JP Morgan Chase, a source fa familiar with the situation confirmed to CBS News. US Customs and Border Protection said this was the largest vessel ever seized in an agency's 230 year history. The ship, the MSC Gayain, is owned by JP Morgan asset management clients through a transportation fund managed by the bank. A source confirmed JP Morgan leased the ship to Meridian Shipping Co, a, sh a Switzerland-based shipping company, which is solely responsible for the vessel's crews and operations. JP Morgan Chase declined to comment on the record. Mediterranean Shipping Co said it in a statement, unfortunately, shipping and logistic companies are from time to time uh, affected by trafficking problems. The shipping company behind it is co cooperating with US law enforcement on the investigation. Neither JP Morgan Chase nor MSC are targets of the criminal investigation when they should be. Personal details of 56 million Americans found on PC in China. Nobody's surprised by data leaks anymore, but we've reached a point now where personal details are being compiled and shared worldwide for free. As the register reports, a, a, the security researcher who goes by a Twitter name of at Linux 00 
discovered in a publicly available database located in a computer within a Chinese IP address, there's nothing strange about that until you learn about the content. In total, the database holds the personal details of 56.25 million US residents and is 22 gigabytes in size. The information includes each person's name, home address, past and present, phone numbers, age and relatives. The computer storing this database is located in Hangzhou region in East China and hooked it up to the internet via Alibaba web hosting services. French police face probe after video emerges of Paris protests clashes. Now, you want to go to this link and look at the video because it is utter disgusting and it shows you exactly what a police dictator state looks like. French prose prosecutors have launched a probe into alleged police violence after a video emerged that appeared to show an officer firing point blank at protesters with riot control gun at a Paris march backing strikes. The video widely distributed on social media shows police in riot gear beating protesters with batons as one officer walks right up to the group with a riot gun after which a marcher is seen tumbling to the ground. In the video, several protesters are left sprawling on the ground in the aftermath of the police advance in, in the, on the protests in Paris. The police at the Paris prosecutor's office said an investigation has been opened into violence committed by a person holding public authority. The probe has been untrusted to the entrusted to the IGPN, the police oversight body. Well, that's about as much use as the IPCC. In a statement, the AAFP Paris police described the video fragmentary and out of context because all you can see is them beating the shit out of the protesters for no reason whatsoever. This is what a totalitarian state looks like. The police are given free reign to beat the crap out of anyone. <clears throat> US officials brand public uh, possible high 5G rollout in UK as act of madness as MI5 plays down US fear-mongering. In a bid to pressure the UK into bearing Hawaii from Britain's 5G rollout, death rollout, US officials reportedly went up as far as to imply that allowing it on the ma market would be madness. The fears were de dependent on by the UK spy chief, however. The US have upped the rhetoric a eight anti on its largely unfounded claims that Chinese technocommunications giant Huawei, Huawei will severely compromise a country's cyber security if it's allowed to work on all the world's be going national 5G networks. A team of high-ranking US officials, including those from a national security agency, the NSA, were set to present supposedly damning evidence to the UK government on Monday, arguing the equipment supplied by the Chinese company may come with hidden back doors, granting Beijing access to critical British infrastructure. It's a kill technology. Exclusive, the money box junction, earnings, grasping council, 1.9 million a year, camera catches twice as many drivers in month after a rat run road shut. A yellow grid junction in southwest London has seen almost a 100% hike in fines in just a month after the council closed a nearby rat run road. Nicknamed the Money Box Junction, it is already notorious for catching out drivers who wait too long across a, the yellow painted grid. Before shutting nearby Harwood Terrace, the council caught 1,330 drivers in a month. But after closing the road in October, 2,452 drivers received fines in a month, with the little uh, the council expecting to earn 1.912500 million over the year. A notorious yellow box junction dubbed the money box has doubled its fines in a month and could rake in its gasping council uh, 1.9 million a year, Mail Online can reveal. The junction in southwest London now catches twice as many drivers after the council shut a nearby rat run, forcing all traffic through the yellow grid. Before the 
the road was shut in October last year, 1,330 fines were issued. As we know, that's doubled plus. And there more evidence that they don't want us travelling. This is a weird one. Woman fined by council because she's too small for her recycling bin. Derryford Hospital Secretary Tia Goldsmith lives with a restricted growth condition that prevented her from recycling properly. Yet the council is demanding £100 from her for flouting waste rules. A four foot tall woman from Plymouth says she's been threatened with legal action because she left two cardboard boxes outside which she couldn't fit inside her own recycling bin. The Goldsmith, Tia Goldsmith, dragged bulky package left over from the fireplace out of her property into a communal air, uh, alleyway ready for collection. The 36-year-old tried to, her best to re reach up and put the boxes inside the recycling bin but couldn't because of her height. And the greedy bastard councils decided they're going to try and fine you. Of course, promises of fines or forfeitures before being taken to court are illegal and void. But they've tried to dis ignore the law rules and laws because they can get away with it. Who are you going to complain to? The council that's caught trying to fine you in the first place. Good luck with that. Metro, keep calm and curry on. Hmm. Daily Fail. Remember, it's the worst paper in the country. As William delivers speech about ending paralysis, Kate and the dazzling Duchess shows how it's done. Parasitical scum. <clears throat> A lot of them. In major victory for the mail, betting firms are told to end predatory tactics fueling mental health crisis. NHS stop shameful bribes to gamblers. Telegraph. Telegraph. Police forces attacked for going soft on cannabis. Drug use being decriminalised, says experts, as officers claim prohibition has failed. Well, it's not a drug in the first place. It's a natural plant. So you should never have been ruled like that anyway. Problems have to be tackled, says Duke of Cambridge. Russian government resigns as Putin plots to retain power. Fly-tipping tippers face prison in waste crackdown, and yet paedophiles can walk free. Prostate cancer set to become most common, and yes, unless you get hold of cannabis oil, and it'll sort that out. Extinct white rhino could be born again. Trump's impeachment charge moves to Senate. The Guardian. Doctors lead outcry at plan to scrap A&E targets. Star turn, Deering Tilda Swinton to get top British film award. Who cares? Putin moves to extend his powers beyond 2024. The Times. Judge takes on star role as TV cameras move into criminal courts. Yeah, believe that and you'll believe anything. That'll never happen. Pension tax windfall for top earners. NHS crisis plans will be benefit tens of thousands. BBC presenter with incurable cancer is free from disease. I um, wonder if it tells you how she did it. Flyby deal criticised. Burglary tourists. Royals not welcome. Putin power grab. Rate cut on cards. United go through. <clears throat> the scum. Exclusive. Stars mega divorce. And gives ex Lisa thirty one million pounds. She gets over half his fifty million fortune. One of the biggest Brit celeb payouts. No one should be allowed to have that amount of money. No one. Express more parasite alert. The two sides of the royal crisis. William, we must all move on from life's challenges. Harry, my story goes on. Exclusive cabinet minister reveals plot to inflate co cost of ro ringing in Brexit day and scuppering celebrations. Remain a stitch up over Big Big Ben bone bongs. Well, they reckon it's going to cost £500,000 for it to bong on the day we're not really leaving. That could be used to get some people off the streets, couldn't it? Feed the, ho the hungry. Get, you know, it's just ridiculous. Mirror. More parasites. Scandal. Moments that rock the monarchy. 
Uh, that would be um, Philip having Diana bumped off would be one of them. Got him at last. PC Sharon Windows talks to re of relief as murder suspect found after 14 years. Aye. Duchess' father is willing to testify against her privy count court ca privacy court case. Heart risk re revealed women's blood vessels age faster than men's. Do we need to keep introducing the world's probe absolutely? Probably, no. Electric car surge risks national grid overload. Ah, they never thought about that, did they? When we could have them all running on water, of course. Uh, report warns of, of potential for most mass power cuts with increased damp, uh, demand on electricity supplies if not managed properly. But then again, they could be running on water as well. Sales of zero emissions and hybrid vehicles expected to soar in next two years. Task Force urges ministers and industry to introduce smart charging systems. Oh, yeah, let's, let's some, we can charge them some other way, can't we? We can thieve off them some other way. We can always think of another way to theft, to theft off the public, can't we? The day we took Dad to Dignitas. At times, I completely disrespect myself. Amy Lou Wood on sex and Uncle Vag Vanya. Putin's power play after 20 years, Russia leader tears up constitution again. FT. Angela Merkel interview. Brexit is a wake up call. The German Chancellor on Europe's changing policies in the world, except we're not leaving. Putin's Kremlin revamp opens way f to prolong 20 year grip of, on power. Medev replaces that replaced as PM people's voice on vote on constitution proposed economic goals restated IAG files complaint to Brussels over flyby rescue as re rivals rail at state aid trade truce leaves hefty tariffs on Chinese goods <clears throat> and finally me in heaven God you're about to get your wings. Me. Lemon pepper or barbecue? God, get out. I got a phone call saying I'm a journalist from the sun. I said, look, you can be one or the other, but you can't be both. John McDowell. My husband pissed me off today. So I poured some water on the floor in front of the washing machine. It's been uh, two hours he's been trying to fix it.